Hi, I'm Maggie with an I. Welcome to my first floss tube. Uh, this is Sophie, and I'll just introduce you to myself and uh, tell you a little bit our, about our family and then get right into all the uh, cross stitch whips I've been working on. Uh, I'm a stay at home mom of three, all boys, uh, tweens and teens, and my husband is a cloud engineer. So while he is working in the matrix, I'm free to pursue my entrepreneurial endeavors. Uh, which involves now floss tube. Uh, so a couple years ago, I hurt my back, and uh, like I was helping a, a neighbor, <laughs> their dog had gotten off the leash, and it was a hefty dog, and I put my back out trying to wrangle it. Uh, we did get it. Um, but I was in bed for a couple weeks, uh, so while I was laid up, my kids and husband went out and bought me a bunch of crafts to do in bed, uh, and one of them happened to be cross stitch. And it reminded me how much I liked it like 20 years ago uh, when I was younger. I thought I was ready to cross stitch, uh, but I was just too busy uh, in my career and then I had kids. So now I'm ready to get back to it. Uh, so the one they bought me while I was in bed was this simple pattern and has started it all. Uh, so that was a just an easy, I got it done in a couple days and I knew I needed to find my old stash. It took till this last Christmas, uh, it took a whole year to find that stash, but I did. Um, so now I'm working, I'm trying to be frugal. So I'm do, I joined a Stitch from Stash group on Facebook and we're just trying to, you have a small budget, but you get credit for all the stitches that you do. So even if you buy a little bit, you can still end up in the black. Um, and if you do at the end of like, like six months, then you get entered for uh, a prize, maybe a gift card or something like that. Um, but the main point is I'm trying to be using up all my old supplies before jumping into the millions of new projects that I would like to get. And uh, right now there's uh, Nashville. I think it just finished, actually. Um, so that's like an annual um, place where all the designers go and release their product and the store owners go and buy it all and come back. And then I think any day now we should be having a... Um, release dates and that we can go to the stores and buy all the new product. Um, so I would like to, but I'm going to wait until I finish up some of my old stuff. So the main one I'm working on right now, I just started uh, Bluebird Peaches. It is an old free DMC pattern uh, from, I want to say like 96. Yeah, 96. Uh, so I'm just, I use a DMC converter, uh, the chart that opens up and it has all the colors in it to match up um, along with an app on my phone. Uh, I'll, I'll link that, it's really good. Um, so I just try to use all the floss I already had from 20 years ago and I just convert it uh, to the new, new numbers. <clears throat> so this one is coming along. It is darker than the picture. The picture looks like it's uh, lighter and they look very red and this is orange and mustard instead of pale but it's I think it'll look great and again it's just to use up my old stuff and keep me busy uh, especially during COVID-19 season everybody wants to stay in and hermit uh, so I just keep all this project has a lot of floss a lot of color changes so I put everything it needs in this little Target dollar spot box and that's working for me. For my stitch along, I'm doing the Frosted, stitcher, frosted Pumpkin Stitchery uh, Animal Almanac. It's a year long stitch along. So I sewed myself a project bag. Um, and this is Helen Dardick, is a really cool artist and she makes fabric now. So I have, I bought all her, all her fabric and I'm making purses out of it and stuff. Uh, so this is the Animal Almanac. So obviously it's March, so I'm done with number three. And I just started a little bit on number four to get ready. So my other, uh, so I'm done with that, caught up on that, just working on peaches. My other one that I keep in the bedroom here is a marriage uh, themed cross stitch by Mary Englebright. And this is also from a long, long time ago. I have both of her books here. Uh, this one has the one I'm working on, the marriage themed one. 
And this has another one that's in uh, my old stash uh, that I found it had the whole fabric and all the threads and had already started it. So I'm going to finish the one from there after I finish this marriage one. So I'll show you that. This is Navy Ada 14 count. It says, uh, there's no more lovely, friendly, and charming relationship, communion, or company than a good marriage. It's going to be really cute. It has the heart lock. It's going to have a, a bluebird and flowers all around the top. Let's see if I can show you. Yes, here's the picture without showing the pattern. So I had to tear everything out of the book in order to have a pattern to dig from. But instead of doing the black frame and then cutting out the center to put the white i'm doing it all on navy um just i, I feel like that's uh, ahead of my skill set currently especially since this is uh like an even weave or linen so i'm just not ready for that on in black that would be very hard for my eyes to see i have to wear readers as it is all right so for that one, I also made this bag. Uh, I took a quilting class um, last year, the beginning of the year with a friend. She talked me into it. And we made uh, a hand hand stitch, like you hand cut, hand stitched everything, and hand quilted the whole, it was, but it was just a wall hanging, like a 15 by 15, so it's not that big. I'll do a separate video of just quilting. Uh, but so to use the scraps, I made this bag from a free pattern. And I use it for this particular project, along with a, and I put all the floss in a smaller zip bag. And the third bag, or third project from that same set of fabric I made, this is a Maui Glam bag. Um, by, I think it's Pink Sand Beach. Uh, they're the designers, and they have a, a Facebook group, and, and I put my picture of my bags in there. Um, and on Instagram, you can check that out and see close-ups of all my cross-stitch and purses and quilts. Um, but this one is really fun to make. So I've made uh, at least three colorways uh, with different fabrics for this. I did Chula Pink and the Helen Dardic uh, fabric also in another bag. So this one is going to be the next project I'm working on. I just purchased the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, um, another a Zodiac Stitch Along. It doesn't get released the first part of it until mid-April, so I can't even show you a picture. Um, I think they have like a sneak peek on their uh, on their Instagram, so you can see a little picture. It looks really cute. Very colorful. I like all colorful stitches. Um, this is the least colorful stitch I've done, which is the magpie, because I'm Maggie, and so this is magpie also. Uh, I need to finish. This is, has one last cup, one last blue to fill in. And if anyone has a suggestion as to how to finish this, I don't know that whether to hoop it or just a square frame, but then it's going to have some empty space uh, in some areas if I do it in a, in a rectangle frame. I uh, just want to be creative with it because it was just for fun. It was a free pattern also. I'll try to find a link for that to put below also. And I'll link everything, the books, all the names of the other patterns, uh, maybe their Instagrams if they have one. Um, so a couple small pieces. Oops. For Christmas, my family got me this set. And it's minis of you know, famous artwork. Uh, so I want to do the Great Wave first, the one that's on the cover. So I've got it kitted up in a little bag in that and also at Christmas my my uh, very good friend Rachel got me the poutine kit I know it I had this in my Amazon cart forever so I was super excited so I'm working on one I think I just have a little bit of the donut going on so I need to finish that so I have lots of little whips all right also, I have a super awesome whip from a pattern that is also from the 90s. 
and it is a, a Pangea. It's a We Beasties One, and it's by Terrence Nolan. He's a retired uh, designer, um, and it is gorgeous. It's going to be full of Krynik, which is the uh, glittery. It's going to have all the turquoise, and it's going to be a blue morpho. It's going to also have a second one on top that's just, just folded up. So I've just started, I've just begun. Got the first color laid out so I can fill it in and ordered all the Krynik. And I can't wait to start on that because I've never used that stuff before. And I do hear it is a little difficult. So we'll see how that goes. I have a few smalls that are finished. I'm trying to find a picture of the Wee Beasties, but I think I took it out. I'll show it next time. So I have a lot of smalls that are my upcoming projects for when I do. I like to think of each day of the week as a different thing to stitch. Uh, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch uh, thought of that first, but to me, each day of the week means something different than um, their pattern. So. To me, a Monday, I always just think of the song Manic Monday, so I thought, okay, I'll just do a quick manic stitch that I can do in one day. Um, so some that I've done on Valentine's Day, I did this one in one day. It is a shepherd's bush called uh, My Heart. That was just really easy. Um, and then there was a free pattern from Sassy Jack Stitchery, uh, which is um, to benefit the wildlife in the Australia wildfires. So if you did this and posted a picture of it by February 29th, then they made a donation. Um, and then I have been wanting to do some tiny modernist uh, patterns. She makes really cute stuff. So I try to uh, free one first to see if her, you know, that's how I do with everybody. I do their free pattern first before I commit to buying. And I think that's exactly why they offer those. So that you try it, you love it. I definitely love that. It got a lot of love on his Instagram. So I'll definitely do more of her. Um, she has in Nashville, her new release is going to have a big uh, fancy unicorn, uh, kind of a vintage uh, style. Uh, so I'll, I'll show that when I start that. Can't wait. So there's another stitch one going on. And this is a charity one to benefit a Make-A-Wish. Uh, so this is through Fat Quarter Shop. And it's called Bloomtopia. And every two weeks, some more is released. So it's going to be that big. Right now I'm halfway. You know, it was first section, number two, number three. Then there's going to be some down here. So that one is very easy. Also, like a, a one day, knock it out, and then you move on. So I like that one for Mondays. Uh, a few others that I want to do. All right, so a few other uh, short stitch patterns that I want to do uh, for Mondays, you know, one day patterns, maybe maybe two days. Uh, first is uh, another tiny modernist, like the owl, all you need is love. Um, she has a, a Christmas one, and it will be very small, um, just like this, like a, you know, so I can turn it into an ornament. You know, so I just keep them all kitted up with the pattern folded up in there. That should be a little better for you. That one is pretty popular. And another from that, that is from Just Cross Stitch. I have a digital subscription, so I just print them out. Um, another one from that same issue um, is a Roveris pattern. And I like bees. Uh, our last name starts with bees, so it's kind of our family mascot. Uh, so I don't know if that would be like a a gift tag or a bookmark I, it, it, it doesn't even matter to me i just like to make them to have something and again it's going to be very small also then uh one kind of a like like doing the free pattern this is a free one from um, marabilia and i haven't tried any of their patterns yet and this one is uh, called bumblebee um, it calls for like nine Krynix and three beads and a whisper fur to make a fuzzy body on the bee and everything and only two DMC. So I need to do a practice one before I commit to their uh, patterns with like a $20 box of beads and uh, 40 colors of thread and a bunch of Krynix. It's a commitment. 
they're gorgeous. Uh, there's a lot of mermaids and fancy ladies with, you know, big flowy dresses and everything. Uh, so I do want to try, I, I have a bunch in my wish list, uh, but I, I feel like I better try this free pattern first and, you know, just see if I can handle that. Um, and the last uh, free one is... Uh, the, wor the World in Stitches, and it's a, just an Easter Bunny one. And Actually, I don't remember if this was a free one or not, but I don't, I don't have the picture printed out, only the pattern. Uh, so it's going to be an Easter one. I just flash it like that, and I'll put a link to it. So I'll find out whether it was purchased or free. And that's about the size that that one will be. I'm hoping, and that is a tiny 18 or 22 count Ada. I'm hoping it comes out pretty tiny so that I could put it on uh, greeting cards because it's another hobby I have. Uh, it's, my, it's my first and most done hobby is card making. Uh, so if I could stitch that on cards and make, you know, about four of them for my aunts and mom at Easter, that's who we go visit at Easter. So I thought that one would be cute. Very colorful. So my next... Uh, artist designer that I really like is uh, Al Forrest and they they or she I don't know if it's a one man show but uh, have a, a Wizard of Oz I mean yes Wizard of Oz pattern and it was a stitch along and now the pattern has been released for free and I love it I already uh, picked out all my colors and and have linen I'm gonna have to dye it I got the writ teal I think I think it'll look nice on that so I'm gonna do that after I do a few other things I need to fix so I have plenty to stitch from stash as you can see so I just can keep using up my my floss and there were a couple others of Al Forest this one is my, gonna be my fall uh, pattern to work on. What's that one called? It's in Russian, so I don't know. <laughs> but it's a nice cat with fall stuff around it. And then there's Christmas ornaments. This one didn't have a picture, it only had the pattern, but you can get that on Al Forth's website also. Just a, a cat and an owl. Owl and a pussy cat, like the, like the old story, I guess. So those will be probably, I probably won't get to those till summer. All right, and at school for the kids, they have an art show coming up, and their school, the, the middle school, does uh, an auction along with it, like to do a fundraiser along with the art show. So last year I made four box sets of cards to auction off, and that did all, that did well. So this time I'm doing a kit, a Stampin' Up kit, and along with that I'll give an offer an hour of instruction how to how to make it and I'll bring stamps and everything and secondly uh, this time I'm going to offer a cross stitch pattern and instruction so hopefully kids are interested in that I'm basing it on my, my son's friends that they seem like they would be interested in it so that's why I'm offering it we'll hope it's a hit alright so when I'm stitching on the couch I use this super bright Clip on Ot Light clip it here. It's the least um, nerdy option. I've seen a lot of crazy like headset gear and everything that would probably work really well, but I'm too embarrassed. With three boys and a husband, they would certainly, you know, tease me. We're, we're that kind of family. It's no big deal. Uh, so since I'm doing the Wizard of Oz uh, set, I also have seen um, a, a, an Alice in Wonderland. Uh, there are a bunch of stitch ones going on right now, and I cannot think of the name of the one. But since I don't have it, I'll, I'll get it, and next time I'll show you that pattern. Um, but along with stitching from Stash, I'm going to read from Stash. I have the tiny version of Alice in Wonderland that my mom gave me a long time ago. So I'm just going to finally read it. Of course, I've seen all the movies and uh, but it's going pretty fast already, so I had no idea it was such a quick read. I think I'll get it done in a day or two. All right. Lastly, 
for today. I just wanted to show how I organize, uh, trying to stay organized now that I'm doing so many whips at once. Um, and I see that they sell <clears throat> journals for quilting and stitching so you can keep track of your pattern, what threads you uh, swapped out, and how, how many hours you stitched, all that kind of stuff. So I got a couple of these albums, a, a different one for 2021. This is my 2020 one that I just started. And it's a Stampin' Up! one, I guess. I got it on clearance. And it's full of really pretty it has stickers, gold, and everything. So so every month, so I just write, you know, what I'm doing. And I can write all about the pattern and everything I need to know. That way I don't have to save all of these paper patterns that I've done. Since I usually do uh, try to order everything PDF. I can just save it digitally, recycle the paper, have one binder for when people ask me, how did you do this or what did you use? Then I'll have that to refer to. And my last thing, since I mentioned Tula Pink, she's a fabric designer, uh, my favorite. And she designed the fabric that I'm doing my big quilt that I'm working on now. Uh, she also has a coloring book. So adult coloring is so popular. So when maybe I don't have, my eyes don't feel good enough to stitch, then I can always come up and do a little coloring. And that's when I drop my fancy mark markers that I use in there. I'll show you those next time too, because I'll show all my markers sometime uh, so you know what to invest in. Cause I've... Okay guys, I think that is all I have for this week. Um, have a good week. I'll hopefully post something uh, soon and hope you enjoyed everything that I shared. And I'm glad that Sophie just took a nice nap during this whole thing because she tends to be a barker. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.